everybody in Aotearoa, New Zealand, take a day off. <laughs> you get a day off, you get a day off, you get a day off. And it's all because of this. But not everyone here celebrates Waitangi Day like it's a party. And I'm gonna tell you why. You see, this treaty is a written agreement between the British people who live here. I'm British. <laughs> and the Māori people who are the first settlers and discoverers of Aotearoa here. The plan was that we would all live happily together on our family and coexist in a pretty cool way. So a treaty was written on this very day, way back in 1840. And was signed by some important British people and 40 Māori chiefs in this little place up north called Waitangi. And copies were sent all around Aotearoa to be signed by eventually 500 Māori chiefs. And the treaty became real life law. Like no take backs, like law law. Like proper, if you don't do it, you get jail law. That kind of law. In Ngari, there was a huge problem. One that still causes Zaru today. Cause there's actually two versions of the Treaty of Waitangi. Two! The English version and the version translated into Te Reo Māori by these two. Henry Williams and his son Edward, two British missionaries. In the Māori version, we were promised sovereignty of our lands, our people and culture. Basically meaning that we would be in charge of everything that's important to our people and our country. This is the version that our Māori chief signed and agreed to. But in the English version, it said that the British people would have sovereignty. 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 Oh, sovereignty. How is it spelled? <laughs> <laughs> Meaning that they would be in charge of everything. A. This began many wars. Because Māori people were promised something, but that's not what the British did. They stole our land, killed a lot of our people. They even banned our language from schools, our medicines, our practices, and tried to break our wairua. And we're not the only ones too. Our whānau from all over the world are fighting for their treaties to be honoured as well. Which is not on people. I know that isn't right. And I'm just a kid. And so even though some people don't necessarily celebrate today like it's a party, Today is a day to remember when Te Tiriti o Waitangi was signed in the place where Māori and Pākehā call home. And if you want to do your bit to honour Te Tiriti o Waitangi, you could learn more about it. You could speak more Māori. Why not sing or learn a Waitangi? Because Māori stuff's cool. And we should all know that. <laughs> Shit.